Good morning. I'm Jamie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and you are zooming into business and we're zooming right to the east side of Wadsworth to Community Health Center. And in Community Health Center is uh, one of our favorite doctors, Dr. Rachel Patel. So good morning, Dr. Patel. Good morning. Oh, gosh, we're glad to see you. You just came back from maternity leave. Yeah. yeah, you know more give back and then we're saying, hey, we need to do an interview. So here we are. Yeah. <laughs> so before we talk about Community Health Center, because you're the main physician there. And so give us just a little background on you, uh, your education, where you went to school and things. Sure. Yeah, I'm originally from West Ohio, Fremont, Ohio, um, but my mom has a lot of family that lives in Medina, so we grew up kind of coming out to the Medina and Wadsworth area to visit family. Um, so I went to high school and elementary there, then I did my undergraduate training at Youngstown State University um, for a couple years, um, just two years, and then I went to Northeast Ohio Medical University, formerly known as um, you know, UCOM out in Rooktown and did my four years of medical education there. Um, I ended up choosing family medicine, you know, after going through rotations, I really loved just like the long-term relationships with patients. I loved like caring for different, you know, multiple different generations and just kind of getting to know families and, you know, growing up in a town that's very similar to Wadsworth, very rural um, and, you know, kind of that close-knit family, um, close-knit community, um, you know, family medicine really fit well with that kind of an environment that I grew up in. Um, so I chose family medicine and had rotated in multiple, you know, different hospitals in the area. I ended up choosing um, Suma Barberton for my residency. So I spent three years over there. So not too far from here. Um, and after graduating, you know, I really just fell in love with, you know, the community here in Wadsworth. You know, we lived near Wadsworth when I was in training and just really, you know, thought it fit well, you know, um, with that small town feel that I grew up with in West Ohio. Um, so we ended up just, you know, settling in Wadsworth and I was lucky enough to find a practice here in Wadsworth. Dr. Distel used to be here. Um, so I joined with her about three years ago and I was here with her for about, you know, a little less than a year. Um, and then when she had left, I had took the practice over. So, that's so uh, tell, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I interrupt everybody. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> it's uh, I do that anyways, but it's even more difficult on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about the Community Health Center, because I just want to make sure that people realize what goes on uh, in, in the health center, that it's not an emergency room, that it's a practice. Yeah, yeah, so community health care is a family practice office. Currently, we have myself and then um, Nancy Scaglion, one of the family nurse practitioners um, with us. You know, we're hoping to bring in more providers in, to the office eventually. Um, we offer, you know, care from pediatrics until, you know, um, and then young adults and, you know, middle-aged adults and geriatrics. Um, we do, you know, outpatient care in the office. Um, a lot of times, you know, we will do chronic care management. So like, you know, blood pressure, sugar problems, physicals. Um, but then we also do, you know, same day appointments. So, you know, you cut your finger, you need, you know, it looked at, you need it stitched up, you know, we'll call you, we'll get you in same day. Um, same thing for, you know, cough and colds, which mostly we're doing virtual visits for at this point in light of everything going on. Um, but urinary tract infections, abdominal pain, you know, anything that comes up, you know, our goal as a practice really is to keep you in our office for the majority of your care. So, you know, if something comes up and, and you feel that it's urgent, we really try to get you in the same day, if not the next day. And, you know, keeping you with a physician that knows you and, you know, knows your history and can work, you know, problems up appropriately and efficiently. Um, and especially with everything going on right now, you know, in our community, really trying to keep, you know, patients out of the hospital and with their primary care doctor for acute complaints in order to free up the ERs for, you know, patients who need more urgent care. Um, oh, that is amazing. And I love that, um, it, you know, because uh, that continuum of care is so important, you know, to, uh, to feel comfortable about your your physician and and I really like that. So um, tell me what is so unique about community health care? 
So I think one of the unique things about our practice, you know, compared to other primary care practices, is the way that the office is structured. The people who answer the phones when you call are also the same people who work and room you in the office. So, and a lot of the girls who are in my office have actually been here longer than I have. So they know the patients, you know, very well. They know the community well. Um, which really, I think, facilitates, you know, great care for patients, because if someone calls in and has a problem that's going on that's urgent, and, you know, they don't see like an opening on my schedule, a lot of times they'll pull me aside and say, hey, Dr. Paul, you know, this person's really, you know, worried about this, they, I really feel like they need to be seen earlier, but there's nothing open, and we'll figure out a way to kind of finagle things to get people in, um, and, you know, really create access where maybe, you know, on first glance, it, it wouldn't be, you know, some other practices are kind of shifting their, you know, phone triage to people who are more in like an, uh, not like in the office with the physician. So I think we have like better office communication and, you know, better able to like care for patients and create access where there needs to be um, because of that, you know, structure of our office. Um, yeah, cool. And the nice thing too is, you know, even though we're community health care in Wadsworth, there are community health care offices like in other, you know, surrounding towns, so like Norton, Barberton, um, Doylestown. Um, so if for some reason, you know, our office is completely closed or, you know, I'm out of town and there's only one provider here, we can always find a spot for a patient to be seen. They may have to drive a little bit further, but there, you know, there are other offices, you know, that can accommodate that if we need. Um, and, you know, it does, you know, help that we have other offices because some of the other offices offer uh, other services. So like our Norton office does have a behavioral health counselor. So if we have someone, you know, who is really struggling with their mental health and needs to see a counselor urgently, a lot of times we can get patients in with that counselor in Norton, which isn't too far, you know, in a short time while finding them a counselor in the community. Um, for them to have a more long-term relationship with. So that's really nice. The other great thing about our office is we have a care manager who's employed by our office. And so for no cost to patient, if I have a patient who for some reason, you know, it's uncontrolled, say they come in for a regular blood pressure check and their blood pressure is, you know, uncontrolled and we're doing a little bit of medication adjustments. Um, I can have that care manager, you know, follow up with that patient in a week. And, you know, if the patient has a home blood pressure cuff, you know, she'll say, what are your readings like? How are you feeling on the new medicine? Are you having any side effects? And then she'll, you know, send me a message and let me know how the patient's doing. And likewise for other medical problems, um, that people are, you know, struggling with, she'll, you know, kind of coordinate the care and do some follow-up um, with the patients to make sure things are moving in the right direction. Um, and that really, I think, has been very helpful, you know, for me as a provider. And I think patients really, you know, enjoy that close contact that the office has in between those visits to make sure that, you know, when changes are made, things are moving in the right direction. Very nice. And that very, very nice. Uh, why do you love what you do, Dr. Patel? Um, you know, I really, from the medical science perspective, I love the um, challenge of figuring out a problem. Um, you know, I, I really like that aspect of, you know, someone coming in with something and, you know, really, you know, not, you know, not knowing, you know, what's causing this and, you know, them being, you know, have struggling and then being able to find a solution and then ultimately seeing them improve. Um, you know, I love helping people. That's always been something that I've enjoyed. And, you know, my mom really modeled that very well for me, you know, community service and volunteering, like as I was growing up. So I think, you know, having that background, I always saw myself in more of a service field. Um, and then just kind of my love for science and, you know, problem solving kind of led me to this path. Um, in terms of, you know, choosing family medicine and community-based medicine, you know, I, I really like you know, the small town feel. I, I like having patients who know each other and our friends and family and who kind of give me a heads up on what's going on, you know, from a social level, because, you know, caring for a patient, you know, can be about, you know, controlling their high blood pressure, but it's also kind of being aware of the social situations that are impacting the overall health of the patient, you know. So um, as stressors come up in our life, you know, it can definitely impact chronic disease management. Um, and then also stressors that impact, you know, financial situations, access to healthy foods, access to, you know, means to stay active um, and things like that. So I, I really felt like, you know, this was a great, a great fit for me. And, you know, family medicine, I think, is, is one of those fields that really has evolved over time. Um, you know, if you talk to family docs who are doing this, you know, 
I don't know, even 20, 30 years ago, they were doing a lot more OB and maternity and delivering babies. And now we've kind of shifted to more of an outpatient role. Um, but I think still, you know, we can provide great care and keep people healthy and, you know, out of the hospital. Um, and by creating a lot of access within the office, I think that's a great approach. Great. Now, how can people find you in community health care? Yeah, um, we're located, if you know where the high school is, there's that Circle K and Dollar General over there. We're right next to the Dollar General. Um, our phone number, you know, is available. I don't know. Are you sending that with the interview in the in the can. information? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so our number is 330-331-7106. We're accepting, you know, patients, depend new patients, um, just contingent on if we're contracted with the insurance plan. Um, so you can call that number, we can get you in. Um, you know, there is a little bit of a wait, but not too bad. Um, okay. And we're located at 860 Broad Street. Oh, well, thank you so very much, boy. We learned a lot today about community health care. We really appreciate you and, and your staff and all that's going on and welcome to that new baby. Oh, thank you. And, and thank you, Jeannie, for, you know, hosting this. It's always nice Absolutely. talking with you. Absolutely. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right. You too. Bye.